Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, another new engine. As you can see, a Marks 999. I got this one on eBay for 10 bucks. And uh, what I've been doing is scouring all the ads and finding the absolute worst condition uh, engines I can find, the cheapest ones, of course. And none of them run. And uh, even though this one is in fairly decent condition, uh, the problem with it, of course, was it wouldn't run. And uh, unless you know how to fix these, I mean, you're stuck with a conundrum. What do you do with an engine that doesn't run? So like probably 90% of all these engines that I bought cheap, uh, the E-unit uh, is defective. Uh, it's either so corroded that it won't work or the coil itself is open and it doesn't work. And so it uh, only takes a few minutes to bypass the E-unit. And once you do that, uh, you've eliminated the E-unit coil uh, which adds about 10 watts of power available to the motor itself. So, in any case, got this cheap, took it apart, bypassed the E-unit, cleaned the uh, brushes, and gave it uh, a thorough lubrication and cleaning, and this thing is running really well. And uh, I ran it on the bench. This is its first uh, trip around the track, and it's pulling, I think there's 15 uh, full-size Marks cars on here. So let's see how we do. First trip around the track. So as you see, it's running really, really well. Nice and smooth, lots of power, and uh, the like I said, it was in really decent shape. The only problem with it, of course, was that the fact that it didn't run. And uh, like I said, unless you know how to work on these and you know how to bypass that E-unit, this engine would never have run again, uh, unless you want to pull the wheels off, uh, split the frame, and replace that E-unit. It just isn't worth the effort to... to uh, get one of these old engines running. It's expensive and it's time consuming. Bypassing the E-unit e is uh, literally a five minute job. And uh, you get actually more power available to the motor because you're not powering that coil in the E-unit. So a really, really simple fix. So a nice 999, 10 bucks on eBay. Just wanted to do a quick video showing its first run around the track. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.